Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker. Here's the range that we'll be shooting at. Once again, just my range. Uh, as I say in every almost every video, give it time, I'll eventually have more targets. Uh, it's a growing process. Today's video is on another Ruger 1022. However, this one is in the Archangel uh, stock frame, whatever you want to call it. So it turns your stock, you know, wood 1022 into a more AR style uh, 1022, more tactical style. Uh, this one comes with a bayonet lug, top mount Picatinny rail, Picatinny rail up front, bottom. You can always add on the sides if you wanted to. This has a uh, small uh, uh, MVG MOE uh, forward grip, 90 degree forward grip. Uh, just one of those little uh, Amazon special red dots. They're not the most sturdy, but for a 10, for 10, for 10 22, something that you're shooting 22 long rifle on, you know, they're more than sufficient. You know, it's not like you're going to take it in the battle. <laughs> uh, so this is the Archangel uh, 556, you know, stock, platform, whatever you want to call it. It's Archangel Angel 556, but it's not, of course, not in 556. It's in 22 long rifle because you're putting a 10 22 inside of it uh it does have an adjustable back stuck stuck on me a little bit adjustable butt stock uh, so this is a actual rifle you don't have to have a brace this is a you know legally a rifle uh this does have the upgraded mag release and it has the upgraded bolt release so uh this has a it comes with a like you know the regular magazines you put into a 1022 you have the standard 10 round which is a nice flush fit you have the uh, the BX 25 extended 25 round magazine you have a double 25 so you can you know empty your 25 take that little cover off the back empty your 25 flip it over and very quickly get your next 25 round magazine into the magazine well. Or if you just hate reloading, you can go ahead and put in the 110 round drum. <laughs> yeah, you can have a whole lot of fun with 110 rounds of 22 long rifle. Uh, now this one doesn't have a binary trigger, it's not like my Ruger Charger. It does have some upgraded uh, stuff inside of the trigger pack. But it's not binary. This is single action only. But you can still have a whole lot of fun with it. Uh, if people who's watched my prior 1022 videos, I'm sure they've uh, you've heard me talk about a prior 1022 I, I once owned. I sold to a friend of mine. Well, this is that 1022, and this pretty much the same exact configuration that I sold it in. So, uh, you know, that, and kind of luckily I got that friend of mine to come up. He's going to be shooting with us today. <laughs> I tried to lead you in. <coughs> so, uh, your ears. Uh, introducing, you got to step in the frame. Paul Castle, known him for over 10 years. Family friend of mine. Uh, real good friend of mine. He's basically helped me out through my whole life. Uh, he, he bought a few of the guns that I sold. This being one of them. Since he's on my range, this is technically his gun. Not my gun any longer. He's going to take in the first shots with the 10 round. I'm gonna plink around a little bit. It's not charged and it's on safe. Get my ears on. Ladies, if I ain't a picture. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna charge the gun now. All right, you can plink, plink around whatever you want. Scope on, trigger off, safety off of me. Kind of jam was it? You saw the camera. Uh, so we got a double feed. So you're gonna strip the magazine out, clear, clear the uh, clear the jam, then it's going to you know, uh, rechamber around and then continue firing. Let me get it. Uh, there you go. Come out. 
Reloading the back clip. Alright, All right, he's back in... Back in the firing order. Safety going off. And there's be the 10 rounds, minus one or two for the jam. So now I'm going to, uh, yeah, those 10 rounds are, that can be a little hard to get out. And we're going to use, actually, uh, this is his magazine. So this is a double, basically the same thing as just one of those, just two of them together. I'll go ahead and switch to the uh, double. And, uh, I'm just going to uh, flick around a little bit, then do a quick little magged up, and then we'll uh, finish up talking about this a little more. Uh, one thing I did forget, uh, this has a uh, threaded barrel, so you can put a suppressor on it if you choose. Suppressor or a muzzle device of whatever you kind you want. Anyway, so let's go ahead and charge her. We have her ready. Go on fire. Yeah, you know, fun sustained fire with one of these. Uh, so what do I have left? Not a whole lot. Let's just uh, ah, two. I can't end on a miss. Just hurry up and get a uh, quick little hit. Okay, couldn't end the video on a miss. Let's go ahead and strip out the magazine. Dump the bullet out. So now we are safe again. We're all safe just to make sure. And uh, yeah, that is the Ruger 1022 in the Archangel uh, stock configuration, platform, whatever you want to call it. Proper terminology slips my mind. Uh, it does have the, like I said, the forward grip. I'm a big fan of forward grips. Uh, the 90 degrees when it is legal and the you know 45 degree, the angled, when, it, uh, when you can't have the 90 degree on your firearm. Also a big fan of red dots. Doesn't matter if it's expensive or cheap, as long as it works and as long as it doesn't break real, real easy. Sure, if this was dropped on concrete or something, I don't expect it to survive. Uh, but a lot of the real expensive ones can't do that either. But like I said, I'm not taking this into battle, so I don't really have to have a really expensive one on it. But yeah, uh, this is definitely a firearm I would heavily suggest on buying. Uh, yeah, if, if you have a Ruger 1022 and you don't want to turn it into a charger, you can also turn it into a bull pump. They make bull pump uh, platforms for 1022. But if you want to turn it into more of an AR style, get the Archangel uh, 556 carrier or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they come in two different si two different kinds. Uh, you have just the stock itself uh, for like 80 bucks, something like that, or maybe 180. I, I can't. It's been so long since I bought it. But for 10 10 to 15 more dollars, you can buy the version that comes with the bayonet, and I heavily suggest doing that. Uh, that's where you ain't gonna search it down on YouTube or. Uh, on uh, Amazon like I did. Because after that, it, it's gonna cost you more than what it would just cost to spend the $10, $20 then. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, liked the special guest, uh, Paul Castle, once again. Uh, you know, I appreciate him stopping by, giving the first shots off on her. And yeah, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button right down there. Leave a comment uh, saying, you know, what are your feelings from the 1022? Do you have one in the Archangel kit? Uh, do you have one in the other any other kits? What's your feelings on it? Do you have any other you know add-ons and stuff that I have on you know one of my previous ones or any other ones on this one? Uh, do you like the 1022? Do you prefer the Marlin uh, 22? Um, share us around with your friends and family. That's where you can you know if they're interested in 22s and or not, you can kind of you know coerce them into go ahead and buying it. And then of course, most importantly of all, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right beside of it. That's where if uh, you know you'll be notified of every time that I upload in the future. We won't miss out on future content just like this. Uh, and I reckon that'll be the end of the video. So we'll see you next time. Peace.